Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, turn off the gas for your dryer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the gas valve coils in a Whirlpool dryer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, flat blade screwdriver, and a short Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new gas valve coils. The gas valve coils are mounted on a gas safety valve. They operate the gas valve, opening it, allowing gas to flow inside the burner only when the igniter gets hot enough to light the gas. When you watch the igniter glow and then turn off and the gas won't flow, check and replace the gas valve coils if needed. I'm going to use this uh, wooden block. We need to lift up the front end of the dryer. So lift it up and I'm going to slide that block under. And slowly put the dryer down on the block. So here we are on the floor under the dryer here. We need to remove this uh, quarter panel. And as you can see, we'll have four quarter inch screws. So we're going to take them out, uh, quarter inch nut driver, and we're going to, to work. I'm not going to take down the quarter panel. All right, get comfortable on the floor and then grab your flat blade screwdriver and we're going to take out these uh, plugs. That's one and that's two. As you understand, this is the coils that we are replacing and uh, there's a one screw here in the middle that's uh, Phillips that holds it in place. I'm going to take a short Phillips screwdriver and insert it into this uh, cutout in the middle and match it into the screw and unscrew that single Phillips screw. All right, so I'm going to uh, hold on to that screw and using the same flat blade screwdriver, I'm going to pry the coils up because they very tight fit. So this is our screw. I'm going to remove it and put it aside. We're going to use it. This is the old gas valve coils next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so to install the coils, we're going to drop that uh, Phillips screw in first. And I'm going to bring it, uh, bring it over and install it on those two metal poles. Slide it all the way. Press it hard, then holding that screw so it won't go anywhere. I'm going to bring in a uh, Phillips screwdriver and tighten the screw. Next, we're going to install the plugs. This one goes to the back. And this one goes to the front. Push it all the way in. All right. And now we're going to install the quarter panel back on. Align it on the sides. And I'm going to push it in. Next, I'm going to secure it with the four quarter inch screws. Using a quarter inch nut driver, I'm going to match the holes. And I'm going to lift up the dryer slightly and we're going to remove that wooden block. And I'm going to place the dryer down. Looks like we're done. 
plug the dryer in, turn the gas on, and check if it works correctly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.